sitting here with Kaiji again on another rooftop. Yeah. How do you feel about Australia? It's on fire, dude. Right now. Not in a good way. That shit's kind of crazy. Scary. I bet a lot of people lost their homes. And a lot of people are losing everything. I think um, it makes me think about Hurricane Katrina when that happened. No doubt. And you're just hearing about that and people's stories in New Orleans being taken out by like a, a tidal wave or a hurricane, yeah. something like vicious, just as a natural storm. Australians are losing land because of fire. A lot of land because of fire. Their whole way of, of lives, their whole way of life is that risk. I saw the videos. That's not even shit I'd see in my dreams, to be honest with you. Seriously. I've never seen anything that menacing before. That that red glow. Wall. There's yeah. a wall of fire. What are you supposed to do there? You have to run. What are you going to do? Run into that? You know what's even crazier? Is that it's not just there. It's just happening in multiple places. LA. LA was on fire for a minute. We were on fire up here for a minute. Yeah. So California was burning. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What do you do, right? Like, what can Wear you masks. Do? About 2020. 2021. So far in 2020, it's been fucking crazy. But I think, uh, I mean, especially for me, I'm kind of feeling a little unmotivated. Yeah. And I watched that Andre 3000 thing, and I wanted to kind of get everybody's take on that. Comment uh, below if you saw that. For sure. Uh, when I seen that, I was like... Even successful artists. Even successful artists get into a slump. Struggle. There's, he said there's nothing to write anymore because I don't feel regular. Uh, mind you, Andre 3000 has been popping up in Philly uh, going to like Whole Foods and shit. No bodyguard, nothing. That's where I'm from. So He, uh... Damn. He's there. Downtown, buying groceries. I taking pictures. Doing well. He's doing well. He seems to be doing okay. Like, I won't not, say not as a perfect person, but yeah, his creativity... Not not making music. He's not making uh, commercial he music. That. Yeah, he's he playing that. the bass clear and <laughs> Yeah, and, and fucking around on the On the keys. piano, yeah. yeah. Not fucking around, sorry. You play you play a lot better piano than me, but basically though, yeah. Like, but that's what it sounded like. And you know, I even even me, I started this shit twenty sixteen. Like even I get there. I get frustrated. But right, as of right now, I'm in a steady stream of like a couple songs, just working at them, working at them, picking away at the mine until I hit diamonds. That's facts. I like that analogy. I have a diamond pickaxe already, so it's good. All I got to do is find more diamonds. See? Wow. We could say in the show, that, no, <laughs> but... Good. It's crazy uh, thinking about it like that. Your mind is your greatest weapon. So people like Tyler who always get better, and he seems to enjoy the shit, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So and he cre creates Before a character. Remember, uh, Rick Rubin was like, uh, Beatles created a character. Sergeant Pepper. Sergeant Pepper. Lonely Heart Cup Band. So when you create a character or you create a vessel, try to get through the, the music through. That's why Childish Gambino made like screenplays and shit. I think that's probably what it is, is that you got to keep uh, pushing the, envelope. the world. Yeah, just making people nonstop want to get into the world of what you're doing. You got to believe it, too. Yeah, you got to believe that world. I think. Uh, when I sit around and I think about extended media, and I'm like, actually, I bought you something. Is my bag around? They're behind you. Whoa. So I made, that's the, the comic book. The comic book. The victory uh, uh, Do I want to keep it mint? I mean, you got to read it, but you can... He said, do I want to keep it? 
I have. Is it online? It is. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. So, getting to that point where you gotta create worlds, that's what it is. Things don't last forever. Facts. Did you read my uh, like my Act One, Two, and Three of that? I did. Uh, that like the three worst days of somebody's life. Like things don't last forever. It's basically it's where that. how I got there to that album cover. That's beautiful. How do you? Uh, I think I, I I'm gonna touch up on it. Yeah, for sure. How do you? Now that we're talking about that kind of creating worlds, because that's what our conversation this morning was about too. It's creating worlds. Um, you said you had an aesthetic in mind. You see, what do you see for uh, for the people that don't know? What do you see when you're thinking of things that last forever? Because we've talked cover. about it. And like, what, what like, so is there a certain year? Is it a certain setting going on? Are you thinking like present? It could be just present. Kind of, yeah. Totally present. Maybe even 2024. Yeah. So like futuristic too. Because, I mean, if you think of the three pieces that I had, it was very low to the ground. Just one more, two other girls. And then just me. And how the fuck I got to 222 California Street, like, looking down at that motherfucker like, Damn. wait, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Boing. <laughs> Idea. Yeah. I got to create something. And that's where the character goes on and, the, and I guess makes the music. Bling. It makes me think of the Sims. They have that green diamond over their head. Yeah, right now it's blue. As in like, and then we went back to green. Because when it's blue, it's like really good. I don't know, like a 2X. But then I lost it just a couple seconds. Like 34 seconds ago. <laughs> but I had it. You're creating... Uh, what, do you, what are some of your... Yeah, creating books. What do you think about not being able to... Getting to a point and not struggling to create comes with life. I think uh, even with artistry, making music, the act and process of making music and some and making an album. He's talking about an album project, right? Didn't have he didn't have that. I never. I think I threw that mentality. Not mentality. I didn't throw it away, and it, it pops up every once in a while. But I just recognize now that. You're finding another vessel. It's interesting too for me because I'm watching you also kind of adapt writing as a practice. So you acted, now you're writing. Yeah. You look like you do all right behind the camera. Now I'm going to do the play this year. I'm doing a play this year. You see, so you're April. finding different vessels to create. Yeah, to create. Well, I want to be on. I got plans. I got plans. Like Grammy, Oscar, and something to prove in every verse. Damn. Big, big. Taking it. You know, it's kind of... Is it that big? Is it? It's, it's yeah, compared to some of the dreams after that. Because there's five different sectors of industry and entertainment's like in the first. But then you can get into infrastructure and minerals and, and that's I like big if- money. I don't, I don't know when I can. Yeah, you're right. Diamond mines and shit. It's talking diamond. <laughs> diamond pickaxe. mines and shit. Yeah. Gotta got the pickaxe first. The pickaxe. I just found that in the random chest. Hip hop. Hip hop. Speaking of hip hop, what are I? What are some of your favorite uh, '90s? Artists or songs, rather. So I just li- we just kind of uh, listen to you. I listen to you play Favorite Dead Presidents. 90. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, I uh, listen to you play the instrumental oh, for oh Mob Deep shook one so two yeah survival of the fittest temperatures rising of course shook ones part two. Um, is it give me give me the goods? Um, 
Yeah. There's a couple more. So Mob Deep, kind Mob of. Mob Deep. Um, Biggie. For the Red Ad, you know. Boy, song. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Juicy. Warning. So how could you forget Warning how can you and that Juicy? Whole album? Right? It's such a great sequencing, yeah. too. The way they sequence that project. Me against the World. So many tears. And then he had uh, Dear Mama, but that was, was that on Me Against the World? I don't really know, I don't know. Uh, what exact project that was on. Um, you put me on. Tribe. That whole run they had. Low End Theory. Like the present was fitting me, it was I. The abstract and me, the five footer. I kicked the mask off, so step off the Frank footer. Like, yo, tip, tip, you remember that routine that we used to make spiffy like Mr. Clean? Um, um, a tidbit, um, a smidgen. I don't get the message, so you gotta run the pigeon. You're on point five all the time, tip. You're on point five all the time, tip. You're on point five all the time, tip. We'll grab the microphone and let your words drip. Like, here's a funky introduction of how nice I am. T said, tell your mother, tell your father, send the telegram. I'm like an energizer because you see I last long. My crew is never ever wrecked because you stand strong. And if you stand, my style is right, that's where you're dead wrong. I slay the body against so, you no know, segundo, then push it along. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> no, that, that's good. <laughs> Come on. That's, man. man, that's another reason why I, uh, I like your energy because you know that shit that's fucking so rare many verses, bro like so many verses so many verses it's not even oh uh, it's so genius as well do you feel like rap or music in this in that sense kind of eats away at you in, from the inside of course it, it I manifested that whole energy of what they said I mean maybe it's I've never met you know or five um rest of these but like i wish i got to fuck thanks i wish and premiere i'd love a beat from premiere dj premiere so many hits Lars large professor dj premiere yeah yeah p rock is he still alive yeah p rock's still here <laughs> he <laughs> works he'd be working with kanye sometimes yeah. they have i mean kanye uh like, uh, he's like, first, he's right there. He's like, yeah, right underneath that kind of bridge of almost, it's almost borderline. You get that into back, like what? Oh, something, right? Oh, three? Uh, oh, three? I'd say, yeah, probably 2000 ish. So he's right there, but then, um, he's borderline like backpack into art rap. I think art rap. It's like what I think of Odd Future is kind of art rap, Brockhampton. It's very art. Tyler, Tyler yeah, yeah. A very art. Kind of an abstract. Art rap. We could call it really get prog rap, rap too. too. Prog like rap. progressive rap. Yeah. Because it's, it's the next shit. Travis Scott almost borderlines in that progressive because it incorporates yeah. rock and roll elements. Yeah, but thank you for watching. That shook you. Yeah. I was like, what did she say? Time to like, die. <laughs> you know some anime <laughs> shit that turns into like Gantz? Uh, or like Parasite? Or like Parasite and that lady or freaks like a, out. <laughs> no, no, or like One Punch Man. Just fucking death <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Thanks for watching <laughs> Talk. I'm Kaiji. And I'm Adrian. I am the mysterious one. <laughs> and my name is Adrian. You can catch us at Instagram. Kai Universal. At Sine Wave with a Y. It's good. And at Part Boy Part Goat. <laughs>